I appreciate your company this morning. We are coming to you live from Akokumlimli Studios. Uh, we are also live on your DSTV channel 421, Go TV channel 144, on your digital television and around the world at myjoyonline.com. Let's start from the Kwame Nkrumah Circle, where firefighters from midnight struggled to contain an inferno which eyewitnesses say started from the Odona market. It's unclear whether there were any casualties as of now beyond the destruction of uh, traders' words running into thousands of CDs. But my colleague Benjamin Akakbo has been speaking to some of the traders who say many fire incidents have happened in the same market in the past. Uh, quenching, quelling the fire. We are getting wet, we are getting heated up, but we're still here with them, following all the action. So the scenes are still ongoing, the Ghana National Fire Service. In fact, you can see some of the people who trade here assisting at the Ghana Fire Service. When you look there, the gentleman there, he's not a fire service. Oh, be careful as we actually get a bit closer. A lot more smoldering going on there. In fact, if you come this way, you can see more flames are still very much alive and burning. And here we are with some more people. Mommy, watch your morning. Good morning. Who are Joy News? Now, Pacho, when you are out, you are out. Hi, me turn you out. I will have say me shop me. Then I will turn. Me turn support champagne, any biscuits. Anna, we store. Anna, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell me. Let me turn. It is a say. It just say. Bibi ash, dreamy. Bibi ash, bibi bibi ash. I will have say. Me, 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 Namibia, it's your friends. I just told you now. Just say the house. Now, now you must start it free. I say. It's now you must say. Baba, class is here. You who are just say. Ab, ababe, pia, be shin. You must just say shop. Oh, you know, ash. Two cars. I'm a naba. First one, I'm going to be a queen. I'm going to be a queen. be a three minutes. Nasa. After the static stage, I'm going to spread it. I'm be a queen. I'm going to be a queen. It is just a fire service by the name Jared and Jared and Darren. No, I'm going to be a queen. In the bad time, I'm going to be a queen. 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 Tama, uh, two cars in by now, I'm not sure to insure. Another two by, around by two. Two fourteen. Okay, uh, uh, two fourteen. Yeah, Tiano, I know so bad, still, I'm going to two cars in there, but I'm going to be able to insure. I'm going to be able to insure. I'm going to be able to insure. Now, now, I'm going to be able to insure. 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 I be do say. And teacher say, I share from 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 the whole. I be do have my bibia. Bibia she. Obia obia no oyonyam ne ne niama. And teacher what want drinks say you know. Osha kabe say no abo. Oh my boka. Minti 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 so those are the scenes here. We're going to be speaking to more people who have been here, who have lost property. But you can hear a lot of them complaining about the reaction, the, the lack of swiftness when it comes to the fire uh, service. I was you know, speaking to some of them earlier, but they, they refused to actually get interactive uh, with us. 
But the complaint, the general complaint here is that the fire service didn't react quickly enough. In fact, two of their vehicles uh, came through without being able to do anything. And that is what supposedly has led to the fire raging all the way to this point where all of those in, in this market area have lost uh, property. Let's move on and interact with some other people who, have, uh, who are selling here, who are traders here. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Your name? I'm called Emmanuel. Emmanuel, what do you sell here? Um, actually, I don't say these are my hands this year, but I think I'm a proper eyewitness to what all, how it all started. And honestly speaking, the fort is really, really great. Because if I'm to examine how it all started and what I am seeing right now, trust me, brother, I didn't expect what I'm seeing. Why? Why do you say you didn't expect it? Because from the start of the whole thing, all my expectation was this fire is going to be quenched in no time. Wow. Because it started just from a very simple spot. Where did it start? Did you see it when it started? Where did it start from? Exactly. Where exactly? Exactly. It started from the toilet zone. Right. Which is about a hundred meters from here. So how this could even get to this point, is, it shocks everybody. People still try their possibility to rescue their things even down to this point because they never believe it will get to this place. When they are seeing about four, five, six, even more fire service vehicles here that they are all believing that oh by all means things are going to be in place but i believe that they were not able to get a proper link to where the fire directly is coming from that was what made everything becomes very very bad so it's my biggest advice if this market is going to be in place again they should give every possible space should in case there is an emergency because that is the most advice I can ever give to the government should in case there is going to be a market here they are going to put this place together there should be an emergency link that the fire service can be able to use to penetrate and put things in order should in case there is an emergency because to put properties to put things together here is not easy and you just look at them burning just like that so that is my biggest advice should in case this market will be set up again, they should make sure that there are two or three different links where the government can be able, the fire service can be able to get access into the system should in case there is an emergency. Please, maybe they should look into the, the KTR market at Kumasi and give us something like that here too. Maybe it will be able to help us better because constructing woods here, any little spark when there are a lot of food sellers here too as well. Everybody use gas cylinders. Not everyone, but almost everyone. So we just have to consider that as well. But isn't that a problem as well? The, the very people who sell here, I'm talking about gas cylinders, almost everybody is cooking and all of that because a lot of these people, they spend the entire day here. So they cook here, they basically live here, some of them. That is part of the problem. I mean, having so many gas cylinders here, illegal electrical you know, works and all of that, even the lanes can be made. But if those habits continue, if they persist, obviously there'll be more fires, don't you think so? Yeah, but this is what I have to say. The same safety nets all of us will try to play at our various homes where we also have cylinders. We should be able to play the same safety here. Because that is what they do to survive. What is going to make them change their duty, their works, all in the name of fire? Yes, but the people, will they be ready to comply? If you told them not to bring gas cylinders here, or if you told them not to engage in electrical, you know, illegal electrical wiring, will they comply? Because in the past, fires have gutted this place, yet they still continue doing that. So what, how about those who sell here? They also have some blame to bear, don't they? Sir, I agree to all that you are saying. If we all want to work against this, bro, I tell you the truth. If the system, the management of this market, stand to say this is what we want, definitely the people around will comply by it. Well, thank you very much, and sorry for your loss, the loss of your aunties. And but it's so great. what exactly do your aunties sell here? She sells foods, alongside Food. with drinks. So much she has lost. We tried all our efforts. We were help. We were rather helping people from the other hand, not knowing it will still get to our turn. 
we were bringing their things down to our hand. And all of those things have got burnt. You can all see for yourself. We ran for our lives. We all ran for our life. When it got to a point that we, 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 we packed things, we got tired. When you lose your physical strength, what else? See, I just poured water on my body just to get some little strength. Because, because you are too hot. Bro, I can't even carry my, my, my feet. I can't carry it properly. What stories have you heard of just how much people have lost in terms of, you know, quantifying them in monetary uh, terms? I've spoken to people who have lost, you know, items worth over 20,000 Ghana CDs, 30,000 Ghana CDs, 7,000 Ghana CDs. What stories have you heard this morning? <sighs> All right. I will start with my hands. I know my hands has lost so much. I don't poke nose into people's affair. But if it is about what I've heard, I'm sure millions have lost in this place. To be very honest. Millions have been swallowed by fire here. How long do you think it's going to take? What do you think it's going to take to recover from this mess as, as a market, as traders? How, how, how much do you think we'll, we'll have to go into this to bring this market back to life? Big bro, maybe I should say, with the help of God, the government, maybe, maybe everyone can get back to their feet in the next 10 years. In the next 10 years? With hard work. With a lot of hard work. Thank you. Thank you very much for interacting with us this morning. So more scenes from the rubble, if you like. You can see all the smoldering pieces of wood, the fire still raging in some pockets, and of course, a mass of debris here. Even the roofing sheets are on fire, different kinds of roofing sheets, the slaty types, the metallic, the aluminum types, and it is all chaotic, it is all a big mess. But maybe one question that we ought to be considering. How did the, all of this happen and what exactly can we do to stop it? It's still unclear what exactly triggered the fire, whether it was an electrical fault or a gas uh, leakage that resulted in the fire. We've got different accounts that have been uh, given to us, but the point remains that this market has gone up in flames and nobody wants a repeat of this. In fact, if you look just ahead, you will see a gas cylinder right in front of you. A gas cylinder right now in your shot. Who knows? Who knows what exactly happened? And with all of these gas cylinders in different kiosks, in different stalls, obviously, if the fire, no matter how it started, if it got to any of them, there would have been explosions, follow-up explosions, and that has resulted in the mess the wreckage that we see here this morning in Odona. Very sad scenes indeed. Very sad scenes. My eyes are smarting owing to the smoke. The fire is just unbearable, but we're bringing you as close to the action as we can right here from the Odona. That's Benjamin Akapo there with that report of uh, the fire that started at about midnight. But we've been speaking with one of the firefighters on the ground. Here's what he had to say. You are said, assuming me and you are running a shop. I go in the morning, you come in the night. When you come in the night, what do you do before you take over? Tell me. I should tell you, yes. definitely if I, we are running a shop, whatever sales I've made, you will check, you will check the, uh, 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 where the goods that has left before you can take over. You can continue what, from wherever I come from. So the appliance is there, those operational men running it, when they come in the morning, they will check whether oil is inside, fuel is inside, water is inside. So there's no way appliances will move from a station to a fire scene and there's no water. At times, you will see our, our appliances replenishing elsewhere. Wherever any appliances go and discharge water, you need to fill it before it comes back to the station. So there's no way appliances will move from the station and then to the fire scene and you will tell me there's half water. Secondly, the way the public sees the, uh, the, the size of the tender, they thought every place is full of water. All the tenders that we have, when it's fully charged, when we run our hose and it's fully charged, they open all the delivery. Within five minutes, whatever inside is in the appliance will finish. Our biggest tanker is 3,000. 
And I'm telling you, within five minutes, when we fully open the hose, five minutes, it will get, get empty. So even when we get to the fire scene, we control the water. And then when we look at the size of the fire, we call for reinforcement to come and assist. So there's no way a tender will move from the station to the fire scene. So I'm sure no that is what the people saw here, and they are mistakenly saying that it was here for about three minutes, five minutes, and then it ran out of water. That's what they are seeing. That's what they are seeing. I've told that. you, within five minutes, when we open the food delivery, it will be empty. So even when you uh, you are at the scene, you decide to go to the runabout. Before you come, and I'm telling you the water is finished, you will tell me it's empty. That's, why, that's what they are seeing. I, but, but you had to use a certain vantage point to shoot the water. Even earlier today, I yeah. saw it because there was no access, right? Exactly. And, and even fighting fire, as I'm standing here, and there's a fire in this building, this store, mm. I intend to start to flash the water on it. It doesn't get to the seat of the fire. So even I can throw half of the water and that fire will not go off unless I see the seat of the fire. So even like you are saying, when they were standing far away shooting the water, the water was not hitting the fire. So still, it will be uh, rigid. So uh, it gets to access of the fire before it can put off. So do you have reinforcements that are coming now? As at now, like I told you, the PRO can tell you no more appliances that have come to the scene. I can tell you no more appliances that have come. L looking at the scene here, how yeah. long do you think it will take before we can we can actually so honestly, this fire? Because when you go around, there are still pockets of fire. Look, so, so, so hello, hello, hello. These fires cannot uh, 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 spoil anything. Whatever you are seeing. It can't spoil anything. And even when we put it off, there's nothing we can take out of it. So it has left with pockets of fires. Definitely we'll fight it till it goes off before we leave.